When was the last time you had to go rummaging through your medicine cabinet looking for a Band-Aid to cover a cut or had to hunt down a cough drop to soothe a sore throat? Can you find what you need when you need it? Well, I keep my home remedies in my nightstand. We keep ours in the linen closet next to the bathroom. And I have to admit, we try to keep everything organized, but with three kids and a husband, it never stays that way. <laughs> and I don't even want to know how many expired remedies are lurking in there. Thankfully, Jolie Tostenson with Your Best Life Solutions is joining us today to guide us through the process of organizing all those home health helpers. Welcome, Jolie. Thank you. I'm thrilled to be here. Good. Oh my gosh, we need you in our lives. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't joking when I say I try to keep it organized. And we're going to get a lot of tips from you. But before we even get the tips, why is it important to keep your medicine cabinet or your medicine storage area organized? Well, with cold and flu season just around the corner, the medicine cabinet is a really important place to keep Mm -hmm. organized. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to some of the reasons listed on the screen, we've also got uh, some know, scenarios you probably can relate to. Right, like as a mom, I'm 100% like, okay, when that happens, when there's a kid with something going on, Mm -hmm. You yeah. don't want to be rummaging. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last thing mm -hmm. you want to do is run around the house looking for a thermometer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so why do you organize your medicine cabinet? What are some of the reasons? Well, in addition to those on the screen, also it's frustrating and wasteful to purchase a bottle of medication and then find out you've already got it. Mm. Or really, worst of all, it's the middle of the night and you've got a child that needs a fever reducer and you rummage through multiple bottles of medicine. You finally find it, but it's expired. Mm. So that's right. when you know you really need to get your medicine cabinet under control once Have and for all. Have you been hanging out at my house? Yes, exactly. <laughs> like, yeah. you seem to know exactly what's happening. I can't tell you how many times. I think it's, it's, a, it's a national dilemma. I bet. Yeah, it really is. Well, you have lots of things here that could help organize us. Isn't that right? So you've got three main steps to prep first, though, right? Mm -hmm. Like, how do you get prepped and organized to start this process? Yeah. Well, I, I'm a fan of getting my... my um, bins and things ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But what you want to do is... Um, really start yeah. by clearing out the clutter. Right, clear right. out the clutter, empty out your space, but also get some containers that are going to fit your fit your space. So you might want to measure first before you get started. Mm -hmm. And and you want to make sure that you're, this is the time where you want to go through and check for all those expired things. Exactly. And make sure that the, uh, the safety, like, like you got to safely dispose of them. Mm -hmm. So right. that's an important right. step as well. Yes, you can dispose of unused um, and expired medications by finding a local take back station or there's an FDA flush list. Mm -hmm. That's an FDA.gov for mm -hmm. people who can find that too. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's so these good. are important steps, but then when it comes to, I'm going to say you think this is the fun part, right? <laughs> <laughs> Emptying the space. First. And this is, we're going to, you know, I'm going to throw under the bus somebody we work with, real life space that we've been helping. We won't, I don't know, name her name, we'll, we'll see, ask us later. Um, mm -hmm. That's her real life space, and it's got to be really satisfying to get that emptied out. Yes. It was, it was wonderful. Empty out the space, any organizing project you do, empty out the space first, get it, give it a good clean, mm -hmm. have a nice empty space, and then... Um, Break them into categories, probably, right? Well, yeah. you, first you're going to lay everything out. Sure. Get, get a countertop or mm -hmm. a... a folding table and get everything laid out, then you can break it into categories. Yeah, I love that part. But make sure you've got those expired medications out of there, anything sure. old or grungy. Right. Um, your categories, there's some listed on the screen, could be something like that. Mm -hmm. um, if you have a lot of cold and allergy, you can split those up. Mm -hmm. sure. um, or if you only have one or two bottles of something, you can also combine, say, your, your pain medications with your hot and cold therapy because they're kind of used for the same thing. Mm -hmm. Would you say it's better to have broader categories or more narrow categories? I would say it really depends on how much you have. If you're a family that has a lot of allergies, mm -hmm. it's going to depend on, you know, your container size. If you have a, have a, you know, can only fit small containers, you might need to break them down into those smaller categories. Keep all of your sore throat separate from your cold and flu, yeah. separate right. from your allergies. It, it probably even matters how big your space at home is. This is where right. a professional so, comes in because mm -hmm. where you said put everything out, lay it all out, that's where I gave up. <laughs> that's You'd be where surprised. There's a, a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. I but think everybody would be surprised. Tools mm -hmm. to kind of help. Let's walk through some of the different things you recommend for organizing well, the medicine cabinet. Sure. I'd probably start here with the shorter oh. items, um, the shorter bins, because th that's where you can fit a lot of your medicine bottles yeah, and just boxes. The right size. Fit. Yeah. They're just the right size. It's nice to have a small container where you can put your thermometer, your syringes, and your cup, uh, measuring cup right inside the basket so it's handy for you and not floating around in there. Mm -hmm. um, there's definitely different widths, different lengths, 
so all you can clear. find something. Mm. You can go with clear. Um, I like clear, but you can definitely, some people, that's too much for them to see. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They, right. they just want a good label on the front. Sure. So you can get something like this right. or this, and that would work, especially if you're going to be, your medicine cabinet doubles as a toiletry. Mm. Um, th these hold more like, hairspray and shampoos right. and larger things, big cotton balls, medical equipment, mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. This one's pretty neat because it has a little raised tear on it. That always mm -hmm. helps when you have another raised tear. I tier. actually have that stuff one and for my spices yeah. um, and it works really well. I so think I that's that. a good tip. It's like take things from your kitchen or I mean. Oh, exactly. I mm -hmm. mean, there's so, your organizing items really are multi-use. You can use them in all sorts of different, wherever it makes sense. Yeah, of course. These work great, um, both the, the tiered and the turntable work great for if you have a lot of supplements or your prescriptions. Um, so you can reach them easily. Again, mm. it depends on what your space allows. You may need to just keep them in a bin. Mm -hmm. right. And clear labels, or I mean labels, when you're clear as Super in easy important. to understand, right? <laughs> 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 yes. Clear labels with the names of the, the category or categories on the front. Um, you can use a nice Cricut machine, mm -hmm. or you can just use paper labels with that print you print out on the computer or a label maker. Any of those kinds of things work well. I also have a couple of uh, little ideas mm -hmm. for inside these bins. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah. I tend to take my band. We all have a variety right. of band aids, and usually they're laying in the bottom of the basket mm -hmm. somewhere. I like to take mine out of their bulky containers and put them in little snack size yeah, bags. Yeah, that's neat. And then I add them to a larger bag that is that has oh. an antiseptic spray with it and antibiotic ointment. So you kind of have your little kit wet ready. Which is perfect yeah. because, you know, you hear the crying from out on the sidewalk because the kid <laughs> just fell off a bike. And instead of Band-Aids, this, this, and trying to like, yep. you just, just grab, grab this, it and so you're like ready. Yep. You're ready and then this it. is for the larger wounds. You can do the same thing with your gauze pads um, and antibiotic ointment. Um, alcohol pads, some tape, and a scissor, wow. and you've got that ready to, Julie, excellent to take ideas. out to the sidewalk. <laughs> well, yeah, that's exactly what keeps happening. Uh, thank you so much for helping yes, us off, but I'll still probably have to call you because it ends at everything's free. Thank you. <laughs> that's what I'm here for. Right. Don't go off and start emptying out your medicine cabinet just yet because we've got a lot more show for you. We'll meet you right back here in two and a half minutes.